HIV AIDS, once a challenge to treat, is becoming a highly manageable chronic condition. Heart or highly active antiretroviral therapy is continuously evolving and improving. As a result, people living with HIV AIDS and undergoing therapy now lead longer and improved lives. Current Heart includes oral antiretroviral agents, or ARVs, that target the virus after infection of the host CD4 T cell. These ARVs target the replication cycle of the virus, such as reverse transcriptase and assembly stages. Recent developments in HIV research target the virus before it infects the host CD4 T cell. These developments focus on the attachment, co-receptor binding, and fusion stages of the viral life cycle. An injectable fusion inhibitor targeting the later fusion stage of HIV entry is currently available. However, ongoing research targeting the earlier stages of viral entry for oral HIV therapy has gained much attention over recent years. Infection of the CD4 T cell by HIV occurs in three distinct sequential stages. In the first stage of the viral life cycle, known as attachment, the viral glycoprotein 120, or GP120, on the surface of the virus binds to the CD4 receptor on the surface of the host cell. Next, GP120 undergoes a conformational change which allows it to bind to a second receptor or co-receptor on the host cell surface. Binding to the co-receptor is critical to the virus as without this event, HIV cannot enter the cell. Finally, co-receptor binding induces structural changes in another viral glycoprotein known as GP41, which result in fusion of HIV with the host cell and allows entry of the virus into the cell. The co-receptors to which HIV-1 can bind are part of the chemokine co-receptor family of proteins. The virus must bind to one of two chemokine co-receptors on the host CD4 T cell surface in order for infection to occur. These co-receptors are CCR5 or CXCR4. HIV-1 is selective for the specific chemokine co-receptor to which it binds. This selectivity, or affinity, is known as viral tropism. Viruses that bind exclusively to CCR5 for cell entry are known as R5 tropic viruses. Viruses that bind exclusively to CXCR4 for cell entry are known as X4 tropic viruses. And viruses that utilize either co-receptor are known as dual tropic viruses. A patient's HIV infection can thus be categorized as R5 tropic, X4 tropic, or dual tropic. In cases where patients are infected with combinations of R5, X4, and or dual tropic virus populations, their infection is classified as mixed tropic. Dual tropic and mixed tropic HIV infections are categorized as dual mixed tropic. Analysis of tropism prevalence in recent HIV clinical trials has shown that approximately 50% to 60% of highly treatment experienced patients are infected with R5 tropic virus. Infection with dual mixed tropic virus accounts for the majority of the remainder of infections. The prevalence of X4 only virus in this patient population is rare, occurring in up to 4% of patients. The rationale for targeting viral entry as a novel approach to HIV therapy arose from the discovery of a commonly occurring CCR5 mutation known as Delta 32 on chromosome 3. Delta 32 homozygous individuals who have two copies of the Delta 32 mutation and therefore lack functional CCR5 co-receptors are highly resistant to HIV-1 infection. Delta 32 heterozygous individuals carrying one functional CCR5 gene, while still susceptible to HIV infection, display a delayed progression of the disease compared with normal individuals who have two functional copies of the gene. 
Importantly, it has been found that Delta 32 homozygous individuals are healthy, indicating that lack of CCR5 expression does not appear to be deleterious. Thus, targeting CCR5 and blocking its interaction with HIV may offer a promising new approach to combat the virus. The discovery of the Delta 32 mutation in the CCR5 gene led to the development of a new class of drugs that target the CCR5 co-receptor to stop HIV infection by blocking viral entry. Known as CCR5 antagonists, this new class of anti-HIV agents functions by binding to the CCR5 co-receptor on the surface of CD4 T cells. Binding of the co-receptor by a CCR5 antagonist causes conformational changes in the co-receptor, rendering it unable to bind to GP120 and complete the entry process. Therefore, the virus cannot infect the CD4 T cell and replicate. As a target, the CCR5 co-receptor shows promise for interrupting the HIV life cycle before CD4 T cell entry. Ongoing research into HIV entry and development of agents such as CCR5 antagonists may help clinicians and patients to better meet the goals of therapy.